Now we're going to start marking the holes for the top two pins. Find a big square like this. Put it on the center line. And measure the distance. So here we have zero. Here we have a gap of five mil. The gap of five mil, and then I added two centimeters more. Now on the back side, I didn't have a gap, so I'll just add two centimeters. Now you measure down from this and 30, 32 centimeters down and that's where the center of the two pins will be. You do that in both sides. Now I'll take your square to mark these holes out from the center and up. Now I'll connect the lines just with a normal piece of paper like this. Now I'm going to make some new marks, 3.5 centimeters up, 3.5 down. And now we need to connect these lines with the paper again. Now we've connected all the lines. Now this is the center of one of the pins, so I measure out same distance and I connect these two. Now I've made the right one, the right hole, the top hole. So this is the center line of the top right hole. Now you do the same again on the top left bottom and from the center line and out make your mark connect the two marks like this one like this now it is a bit confusing with all these lines so now we start with the other side make sure this one is the top one, so you follow the line all the way through. So that needs to be the top one. So now I've done that on both sides. Make sure that the right one is the top one again, otherwise, <laughs> you will have some problems. Now we'll start to mark the center hole. So I measure from the center of these two down here same thing again square it out take your piece of paper and connect now this was the mark these lines right here are the center line of these so it is a bit confusing now we've marked up the top two holes centerpiece and now we're going to start with the leg which is a bit more tricky now I'm starting with the front we've done it the same way as the center and the top pins as well and now I'm going to start making the back sides. And to do this, I need to find out where I can make my marks because it's going on an angle this way down. Now the angle on the leg here is 62 degrees. That's what I'm doing on this dummy. Now for me to be able to get the right measurements on the back side, um, I only have the 62 degrees to start from. So I'm making here two parallel lines, 
which is exactly 21 centimeters apart and I take one of these to make a line with the 62 degrees 62 degrees now I've made a line here now I'll take my square and square it off to this line this line here is exactly 90 degrees and this one here is 62 now this is my front and this is my back and I know that I need to deduct 11 centimeters so here I have the measurements I'll deduct the 11 centimeters so this is where I start and that will give me the 62 degrees on an angle down this way so now we mark the back side as well and we'll start making some holes <laughs> 